This video will show you how to perform a multi-currency revaluation in Sage BizVision. If we look at the general ledger and if we browse the accounts, you will see here that I have a 11210 accounts receivable trade in US dollars. If I move the screen a bit bigger and if I simply browse or explode the account, you will see here that I have $1,100 in base currency, which is my Canadian dollars. If I toggle the currency, you will see here that in foreign, I have $1,000. What this basically means is that I have $1,000 in foreign currency US dollars, and the equivalent of that is equal to $1,100 in Canadian dollars or base currency. I'm going to show you how to revalue the base currency value of $1,100 um, from the uh, foreign amount of $1,000. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to close this screen, close down the uh, browse of the chart of accounts, and let's actually look for the account and select it. If we look at the account, we see here that this account is set as American dollars and it is set to revalue. This basically means is that this account ha uh, can be revalued for its base currency equivalent given the foreign currency amount, which is $1,000, and the monthly rate. So if I close this down, let's go to the multi currency tools under utilities currency tools and then currency manager we will see here if I select multi US dollars and under the monthly rates we will see here that the monthly rate is for June is 1.10 let's see how the revaluation works if we were to re revalue this account to 1.05 so I'll type in 1.05 and we'll hit OK the currency revaluation works on the monthly rates and not the fixed rate that's in the original screen here. So now that we've set the monthly rate at 1.05 for June and hit OK, let's hit save. We'll close. So we are going to revalue the uh, accounts receivable trade 11210 for US dollars and we're going to make this amount here of $1,100 into $1,050 by performing the currency revaluation for June. Okay. This revalue flag is very significant because any account that does not have this revalue enabled it will bypass the account from being revalued. In other words, if this account was not checked once I perform the currency revaluation roll-up, I would still see $1,100 in this account. So, showing that this val revalue flag is enabled, let's perform a multi-currency revaluation. To do that, we go to Utilities, Multi-Currency Tools, and then Currency Revaluation. Now, you have set, you've saw me set the rate there for June as 1.05. So, under the recurrency revaluation I have the opportunity of selecting all currencies or one currency. Since I only have US dollars in this demonstration um, I can I can choose all currencies not a problem or if I wanted to I can just simply choose United States alone. I'll choose United States I'll hit proceed it says the foreign accounts will be revalued I say yes click exit and when I browse my general ledger again you will now see that I have a 11210 USDR account which symbolizes the currency revaluation so now if I was to explode this account and go to June and then look at the transaction by simply double clicking on it you will see here that I have a automatic revaluation of a credit of $50 what this means is that it determines that I had an amount in base currency of $1,100 which was an exchange rate of 1.1 1 
Now I'm reevaluating the uh, US dollar count to 1.05, which means there's going to be a $50 difference. So the difference is now showing up in my USDR account. If I was to run a balance sheet now, and my balance sheet is always going to be shown in base currency. So if I go to General Ledger, balance sheet, and I run it for June, you will see here that I have $1,100 in my US dollar account plus a $50 difference in my USD revaluation account or USDR account. So if I add these two together, I'm going to get 1050 Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say I want to revalue the account yet again. Okay. So I'm going to go into my multi-currency tools. Go to cur uh, Currency Manager and let's go to US dollars again and we'll change the monthly rates to 1.01 .01 now okay now I'm going to show you what's going to happen if there is an amount already in the USDR account in base currency and now I'm changing the rate again and doing another currency revaluation I'm going to hit OK I'm going to hit save and I'm going to perform yet another revaluation I'll go to utilities multi-currency tools and currency revaluation I'm going to select all currencies or one currency doesn't matter in this case I'll select all currencies and hit proceed I'll click yes let it go through exit general ledger and I'm gonna browse again and you're going to see here that I have a currency valuation of 90 now so this 90 basically now is the difference between the original $1,100 translating into 90. What Business Vision is trying to do is uh, revalue the foreign currency, translating it into the appropriate base currency amount given the monthly rate. So if we were to explode this account now and look at June, you'll now see that I have the original amount here for 50 it found that there was a, an amount already in the USDR account so it's going to reverse that out and it's going to write the new entry of $90 which is 1.10 down to 1.01 .01. okay I close close and let's go back under the general ledger run the balance sheet which is always in base currency hit OK and you will now see that my US dollar is 1100 with the revaluation amount of 90. In order for me to get this amount now into the U parent USD account, I gotta do a currency revaluation rollup. I'll close this. The currency revaluation rollup basically takes the amount in USDR account and transfers it to the parent USD account in base currency. One thing to remember is USDR is always in base currency and never in foreign currency. Let's close and we'll do a utilities, currency tools, currency revaluation roll up, June and I'm going to proceed. Yes, revaluation process is now complete and we'll simply browse the general ledger now. When we browse the general ledger and look at the account here, it's now $1,010, which represents the 1.01 .01 under the monthly rate. If we look at the USD account now, it is at zero. Another way of looking at it is here. USDR account, explode that, and in June, we'll see here that the revaluation rollup transfers the amount from the USDR account into the parent USD account. If we click on the journal entry, we can see here that it's been moved from the USDR account into the USD account. We close, we close, and if we run another balance sheet, now the USD is only appearing as $1,010. This concludes this session on multi-currency revaluation.